Hello, beautiful one. Can you solve this beautiful equation? Don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to solve it step by step. It's just so easy. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comments. We always want to serve you best. Now, to solve this, we begin with solution. This is what we have. So let's repeat. 4 to the power of A plus 4 to the power of A is equal to 80. Now, from the left part, you observe that this is repeated. So we can choose to factor it out. Then open a bracket. When this divides this, it gives you 1 plus. Use this to divide. It also gives you 1. Everything is equal to 80. Now, solving this, you are going to have 4 to the power of A. If you add this, it gives you 2 is equal to 80. Now, remember that this is the same as 4 to the power of A multiplied by 2 is equal to 80. Now, what do you do? Our target is A. We need to remove these two. And because it's multiplying, to remove it, we divide. And to do that, we are going to have. So this gives us 4 to the power of A multiplied by 2 is divided by 2 is equal to 80 divided by 2. This takes off this. We have 4 to the power of A. If you divide this, it gives you 40. Now, what do you do? At this point, take the logarithm of both sides. So we have log of 4 to the power of A is equal to log of 40. Now, remember, for every log of A to the power of X, it is X log A, okay? The power of the log, this power, we always multiply. Did you see? So we're going to apply it here. It's going to give us a, this a we multiply. So we have a log 4 is equal to log of 40. Now to get a, we divide. So we divide by log of 4, divide this by log of 4. This takes off this. So to have our a, this gives us a is equal to log of 40 divided by log of 4. Do you intend to leave it at this point? No, this is not yet simplified. So to simplify this, we have, and for you to also have watched through this point, it shows what you are doing interesting. Don't forget to give this a like, share with your friends. And if you are still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot to give to you. And let's know what you feel about the class in the comments. Thank you. And let's continue to have a is equal to now we know that 40 is the same thing as 2 times 20 20 is 2 times 10 10 is 2 times 5 so 40 is this okay and since 2 appears 3 times we are going to have log of 2 to the power of 3 this 3 shows how many times 2 appeared then multiplied by 5 interesting and it's divided by for 4 4 is 2 multiplied by 2. And that will give us, so we have log of 2 to the power of 2. So keep solving this. We are going to have A is equal to, remember we said the power multiplies the log. So it's giving us 3 log 2 plus log 5 divided by, this will multiply, we have 2 log 2. And that gives us A is equal to, this can divide the numerators. So we have 3 log 2 divided by 2 log 2 plus log of 5 divided by 2 log 2. Simplifying this, A is equal to, you see that these two are the same, so they can take off. We are having 3 on 2 plus, we can't divide this, we can't cancel out. So we're going to have 1, remember here is 1, so it will be half log 5 divided by log of 2. And note it that for every log of A divided by log of B is always equal to log of A base B. Now applying this rule to simplify finally we have for every log of A multiplied by B, it is log of A plus log of B, okay? This is going to be a guide. Now, applying it here, we are going to have 
a is equal to log of 2 to the power of 3 plus log of 5. And everything is divided by log of 2 to the power of 2. Keep simplifying, we have a is equal to 3 on 2 plus half log 5 base 2. And this is the value of A simplified. We are going to do a little check. Plug this value of A on this to see if it gives us back A T. To verify. So we are going to work with the first. Since that the same when we are done, we return it. Okay. So we are going to have 4 to the power of A. Is going to give us 4 to the power of, this is our A. We have this plus half log 5 base 2. These are all powers of 4. Now remember, for every A to the power of M multiplied by this, it is A to the power of M plus N. We are going to apply this. You see that this is of this. So we're going to turn this to be in this form. And to do that, we are going to have 4 to the power of 3 on 2, this will turn to multiplication. So we have 4 to the power of half log 5 base 2. Remember, 4 is the same as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. We are going to have 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3 on 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of half log 5 base 2. Now, at this point, remember that for every a to the power of m raised to power n, it is a to the power of m multiplied by n. The powers will always multiply. So applying it here, we have, let's take this off. This is over 1, so this will take off this. We are left with 2 to the power 3 divided by 1 is 3 multiplied by, this is over 1, so this takes off. We have 1 multiplies this gives us 2 to the power of log of 5 base 2. Now remember also for every a to the power of log of b base a, you see that these two bases are the same. It is equal to this number b. Apply it on this. We are going to have 2 cubed is 2 multiplied 3 times to give us 8 multiplied by. You see that these two are the same, so we are going to have 5. And when you multiply this, it gives us 40. And this 40 is what we have for 4 to the power of A. Now, returning this to, we are going to have 4 to the power of A plus 4 to the power of A will be, this is 40 plus 40. And when you add it, it gives you 80. So it means that X equal to 3 on 2 plus half log 5 base 2 is absolutely correct and i hope you learned something today don't forget to like and share i'll also be curious to see your own method in the comments thank you for always engaging and if you are still new hit the subscription button we have a lot to give to you see you in our next class Bye bye